Some days, I really, really love my comment section. Someone actually commented and said that I'm becoming as toxic as Mega Capital G. Sir, I implore you to please understand that just because I'm sitting here stroking my ego um, doesn't mean that I'm using clickbaity titles such as two duelists caught scissoring in the bedroom or two duelists discover their long lost passion for each other or holy shit this changed my mind about everything. Do we do that? Do we really do that? And if you believe that I am some cock-stroking, egotistical, sick fuck that sits here and just tells you that I'm the best duelist around, you've been sadly misinformed about the status of this channel. I just sit here and I tell it as it is, and change shirt colors because I'm a very simple man and this is all I do in my life, is sit here and discuss a game that I am very passionate about. So sir, next time before you comment, thinking that I look like Mega Capital G, or I act like Mega Capital G, you, I've got some choice words for you. And it'll probably involve our eyes meeting, and one of us getting fucked in a duel. That's usually how it goes. Yeah, and by, by fucked in a duel, I mean I'm probably gonna get 2-0 and you're gonna talk shit about me for the rest of the week. So, it's typically how it goes. Sorry, not that good. Alright, so after we got that long winded introduction out of the way, um, I still have, I think it's 11 zoo cores left. Uh, for those of you that were messaging me hesitating to buy one because you were, not, you were worried I wasn't going to have any, um, still a few left. A uh, link will be down below to my eBay so you guys can pick them up. Um, I got a ship. 12. Kind of went to bed early yesterday. So, point of the introduction, um, guys, I'm me. If you think that I'm some egotistical fat fuck, you know, I do this all for my audience anymore. Eating a hot dog, that was something that was requested by so many people. I'm probably going to do it with a cheeseburger, you know. I typically film my videos in the morning, so I really don't get, it's not like I can get a pizza at fucking 6 a.m. in the morning, you know. I don't. I, I'm not going to go cook a DiGiorno pizza, you know. I'd rather have something fresh. I mean, and we, we can eat hamburgers every video if you want from Steak and Shake or some chicken fingers or some fries. I don't know. You know, we, we can do anything because I am me. So, sat here long and hard, long and hard, about what I wanted to talk about today. And I'm going to beat this extra link pack into the ground for one more video. So, we've seen with all previous releases um, that they've really never gave a expansion. You know, you get your core set, another core set, but one of the interesting things about Yu-Gi-Oh! is I don't understand why they don't... <sighs> what the fuck does Magic and Pokemon do when they release New York? You release more. You can't just go, hey, we're changing the rules. Give a starter deck with three of these cards. One of them is shit. You know, it's basically what it's been for the last four things. And I don't know why they don't just make an introduction set um, like they're doing with the Link Pack. I'm, I'm dumbfounded by this. How are you going to change the rules of Yu-Gi-Oh and not want to release a sixty-card set with all blue cards in it? It seems like. Hmm, Konami marketing is 12 years in the past. You know, they're like, oh man, you know, like, we'll release this stuff and we'll gradually ease them into it. No, the mistake that you've made in the past and now is people were quitting the game and people were genuinely pissed. Now, like, I wasn't quitting, you know, contrary to my clickbaity video titles where I'm fucking quitting because I fucking hate Link format. Oh god, oh fucking Fucking scare me to get arrows. Uh, fucking uh, crazy. <sighs> this is a. I love making fun of people like this because I think this is the fucking the stupidest fucking excuse to have. I mean, if you just wanted to fucking quit Yu-Gi-Oh, you go fucking quit Yu-Gi-Oh. Like, you don't need some fucking archetype. You know, like I'm sitting here, I'm dealing with it. You know why I'm dealing with it? Because I have a fucking locals now. You know what I haven't had in the past? A locals. So. Konami was like, oh, fuck, 
Everyone's crying on the internet. What do we do? You should have done what you're doing now. You should have released a power upset. You... It doesn't make any sense for you to release a new archetype and then expect the community to ease off of it. You... I don't know if it's whether or not R&D is taking their sweet time or they just they don't have the manpower to design 60 to 100 card sets you know i wouldn't honestly be surprised if that was the case that the, the extensive testing <laughs> extensive testing <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, sorry guys i cracked myself up there Whew. um <laughs> extensive testing and the rigorous manpower to actually, you know, create a set like this. I don't know. I don't fucking get it. How? This is 10 minutes of me sitting here going, but how, though? I don't know. This power-up set's supposed to do, what, 20, 20 archetypes, including glads and uh, Burning Abyss. You know, that's 18 left. One of them better be spirits. Um... Right? There's way more than fucking 20 archetypes. You know, Constellars, Evil Swarm, Kyle Curry, definitely Kyle Curry, or Kyle Curry, Kiko Curry, you know, however you want to pronounce it, because my audience always seems to think of that. I'm a fucking idiot when it comes to this stuff. I'm sorry, guys. I'm, I'm kind of retarded when it comes to pronouncing things. I'm sorry. I like to, I like to say things how they, they look. God, leave me alone. I don't know. We have Glad's Burning Abyss rolling out here. I, it's all speculation as to what they're going to come out with, but they're taking the proper steps in the right direction at this point in time. Hopefully, three years from now, when we get the next big thing in our game, it's literally a two to three year time span. You guys haven't really gotten this so far. I'm waiting for Trap, monster, or trap Pendulums to be the next thing. Lynx is... It's not a bad thing. Contrary to popular belief, did it slow down the game? It slowed down the game in the sense of it, it cut off some limbs. And I know a lot of people aren't going to like that analogy, but like it literally, it hurt the casual player, yes. We understand that. But in terms of a marketing sense to draw in new players with some new interesting mechanic, sure. You know, it did what it needed to do, and I, I know many people are going to disagree when I say that, but change is good. <laughs> Extensive testing. Oh, God. You know, change is good. Change revitalizes the game. I mean, I, I've, I've made the joke that we're in the infinite format right now of Zoo and Draco. You know, Fire Fist and Water format, if you guys remember the eight-month Fire Water format. Uh, many of you probably won't remember that. That was hell on earth. Um, so many people fucking wanted to quit the game during that time because they're like, fucking just get rid of this. You know, and it's what, August now? We got Zoo back in March. It'll be September in a, in a couple days. You know, here we are, you know, we're in the same struggling format. You know, we've cleaned up Norden. We took care of some really big issues that the game has had with the essential power creep and everything here, which has been really good, you know. But we're out now entering into the fall, you know. Are we going to have Zoo stay around for another block? I mean, Zoo has survived Japan so far. I mean, for fuck's sakes. Some deck just went 4-1 and one in uh, Ding Doo Land. With fucking uh, Chalk and I and Rob Robo Band. I don't get it. You know, one card starters, we've seen it. Hopefully, in the Link pack, we'll get some stupid ass loop where, oh, Link and do a Link. I can't actually wait for that. Uh, so many people are gonna fucking wanna quit the game when we actually progressively reach the level of where a Link Monster can go into a Link Monster. So. We'll we'll have to wait and see. I uh, much let's say. So moral of the story, I think Konami's going in the right direction with this power upset. Um, I think that they should have fucking done this with Xyz. You have to give generic cards, you know, 
I don't know why they have never done this before. Like a couple years back, I made a video. God, I bet no one remembers that far back. I made a video discussing, you know, like why are we not just getting sets with generic cards in them? You know, you have to keep the game healthy. You have to revitalize things like this. It's not necessarily a bad thing releasing generic stapless cards. And granted, I'm sure we'll get something generic in this set, but with the way that it's shaping up now, uh, it's, it's going to be a rough ride. So, guys, comment down below. Tell me what you guys are thinking. Do you think that this is a step in the right direction? Um, honestly, if you say no, um, you probably don't like the theme of Yu-Gi-Oh! Or you think I'm some cringe lord. Until next time, deuces. The ride never ends, guys. Make sure you enable those notifications to get the latest videos that are being posted on this channel. Make sure you guys check out Van Cole 40 for my Cardfight Vanguard channel. And join me and House of Champions on the Zodiac Duelist TV Twitch stream. I will be interacting with our audiences. And please check out No Limit Gaming and LGTCG.com for the cheapest trading cards on the market. Thanks for watching, guys, and please have a good day.